Hey, it's Dalton at Daltonian Tariff Reviews, and now we're going to take a look at the Generations 30th Anniversary Deluxe Class Megatron. And, you know, again, continuing from my runner-up for the top five, this one comes in a little bit higher than Bumblebee and Blitzwing, but not by a whole lot. These runners-up were really close, so... Let's just go ahead and get on with this guy. Um, the obvious, this is not the Takara version. I wish I could say that. It's just my lighting in this really nice glossy plastic. Not painted at all. I mean, well, other than the small few paint apps, but also you can see some of the metallic fleck in the plastic. And, you know, this isn't quite completely black either. It's kind of a purple charcoal color so you can see he's got a whole bunch of like lavender right in through here nice grape kind of purple here oh, give me a moment sorry about that I had a phone call coming in but again uh, with the paint apps you got some of this silvery kind of purple it's it's not quite silver well it's more silver than it is purple but get right in through here on his abdomen, then on the intakes on his shoulders, again on the intakes on his knees and here. And a lot of nice sculpted detail. I really like this. Come right here, it's kind of hollow back in through here. You can see straight through them. And back here, hollow throughout these calves. Open that up and stick my whole thumb in there. Then kind of translucent purple plastic along his fusion cannon, which really looks kind of cool until you get to here. Looks more like a rail gun. I could be firing a piece of metal or something, I don't know. Again, purple fists. And they're a little bit darker than they're showing up here. On here they're showing up more of a lavender, but they're actually really nice deep purple. Same with here on the crotch and right on his neck. But not much else, and then you got nice purple Decepticon symbol right again right there on his chest. Just all that sculpted detail, and you know, I really wish this guy were a Voyager class figure, and yeah, you hear a lot of people saying that, I really do wish that, and you know, I cannot wait for the Tor World version to come out if that one's still in progress and still true about coming out, so. Let's go ahead and start, well size comparison let's go ahead and bring in Orion Pax you can see that mm, let me straighten out his legs here he just I think he's pretty much head-to-head -head with Orion Pax maybe just a little bit taller just not even very noticeable but let me get him out of here Go ahead and pull this off. This can just collapse like that. Flip that in. Take it apart and put that away for later. Go ahead and flip in his fists. Close up his feet. Pretty much just like that. Like that. Open up his calves. If I can. There we go. Got to rotate the feet up like that to open up the calves. You want to. Oh, I forgot to go over articulation for this guy. He's got a ball joint up here in his head. It's very hard to get in there because it's just tight and my finger's a little bit too big. But ball joint here on the shoulder and a little bit of a hinge right in here so he can shrug at you. Rotates at the bicep, bends at the elbow, and his fist can go in and out. Doesn't have any waist articulation. He's got 360 at the ball joint on his hip, in and out. As you can see his knee can go all the way pretty much and doesn't go very far out. And his ankle moves up and down, so that's pretty much it for articulation. Right, back to the transformation. Go ahead and flip his head forward a little bit, pull this piece of his chest up, and just flip that all the way up like that. You can see his head poking out right there. 
Uh, go ahead and keep his wrist flip back up. Straighten out his arm. We'll bring this forward and around. Those tabs will go right into there. Just like that. We take this. Just whoop. And his shoulder pops off. Lovely. Get down there. Alright, straighten out the arm about to can get this right. Yeah, I had it right, never mind. Just like that. Wanna we'll lift this part up and bring it forward. And collapse it just like that. And then it'll tab right into that little hole there. I'll go ahead and leave these arms untabbed for a moment. Just bring this, go ahead and bring this down. And forward. Straighten this out again. And again, just leave it there. Leave it untabbed from the rest of it. Then you want to bring his legs up on this little double hinge right here. Right up like that. Collapse it down. Bring this around just like this. I know, just like that. Flip in the kneecap. And collapse onto there. And make sure. That. And flip his foot down. Make sure this tab right here goes right into the slot that's under there. And then same with this tab down here. It goes right into there. And right into there. That all just tabs together. This guy is pretty much nothing but tab. So. Not really any pegs or ratchets. No ratchets at all. With him being a deluxe class figure. And I'm just rambling as I try to get this all to peg together. And. There we go, there we got Megatron pretty much almost done. Now real quick I want to show this off and it's I kind of figured this out a long time ago when I heard about the Dreadwing figure coming out. Take his gun, put it back together and extend it out like that. Peg it right into the hole on his where his forearm would be. You kind of got a pseudo tank for Dreadwing. So I thought that was pretty cool. I might take a drill or something and put a hole right there just so you can have the full tank effect but go ahead and collapse this up and fold that right back down to there take these, there's that little slot right there and there's a tab coming right down right there it goes right in just like that and just like that and there you got him as a bomber B2 bomber, stealth bomber but as usual with most jet formers, everything's under the jet. If you look from the top, it's really nice looking bomber mode. The only thing is you got feet sticking out of the bottom, but I guess you can kind of close those up and make it look a little bit better. I don't know. Again, you got that kind of purple silver paint right in through here on the intakes, and right on the nose of the jet, and you can see there. I don't know how it's coming across. There we go. A lot of that paint's just chipping off right on the front of the nose. So it's hard to complain about anything about this figure in jet mode, other than how small it is and all the kibble and the head poking out. That'd be my problem is the paint. Right, you got the red cockpit windows. And very much looks like the B2 bomber as it should. So you can see landing gear right there. Up here and flip this out. There you go. But try to imitate him taking off. You go like that, and it'll pull in the landing gear. So but yeah, nice kind of small jet mode for Megatron. But yep, not much else to say. Nice figure. If you really want to get this guy, go ahead and get him. I'm just gonna wait again. Like I said, for the Toy World version of him to come out, and I'm going to pick him up whenever I get the chance to. So, 
and yet that's sticking out. But that's again that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next review.